Good morning, Taurus. Hi. Good morning, good morning. No, I have not brushed my hair yet. <laughs> but come on in. Come on in. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, hi. And my name is Kelsa. And this is Empress of Energy. If you are returning, hi. Listen, everyone, listen. <laughs> After channeling like for three hours straight yesterday, yeah. I literally fell asleep from 7.30 p.m. to like 11.30. <laughs> Slept my full evening away. My full evening. <laughs> so it got me up. So those of you that do channel manager yeah, can appreciate how draining, but I didn't actually think it would drain me that much. But yeah, I hope you all gone, um, been over and had an ulcer at the All Signs. Explore your own birth charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and also Crosswatch. Okay, so. Come on, Ian. What day is it? Wednesday. Hi. Right, so I'm going to do you, obviously I've posted, uh, for those of you that have already seen it, there's still there's still quite a few slots left, to be fair, so uh, I think there's about five or six left, um, without me looking at my phone right now. So anyone wanting a new moon preparation reading, please do pop me an email. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a one, a little bit of a spread of it now, see what you need, um, possibly to release. Listen, I'm not going to lie though. There's a big fat separation going on. Someone's breaking up with somebody or stopping a pattern with particular people, situations, experiences, so on. A lot of you, this is you. And listen, though, but there's a new romantic cycle beginning. So even though some of you maybe have just recently separated, um, there's a new romantic cycle beginning. Some of you, there's someone new coming towards you who was recently separated, but still coming for a new romantic cycle beginning. Maybe just, you know, someone is leaving a relationship somewhere, but there is new outside of that. So however that fits for you, angels. Okay, let's jump on in. Let's um, start with some messages from the universe first. What do my Tauruses need to prepare for for the new moon? Bonnie's obviously waking up. She knows when I get on the tube. When I'm recording for YouTube, she knows. She's so needy. Um, she was actually really good for all of that three hours yesterday as well, bless her. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Yes. Some of you do need to release something or memories of the past. Show me messages for Taurus. The universe has my back. I love that we're seeing this quite a lot in this deck at the moment. Show me messages for Taurus, please. What do they need to release or what do they need to prepare for for the new moon? When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So maybe you've been told to focus a little bit on some love and romance, okay? <laughs> maybe as much as you don't want to. I feel like some of you are being creative, avoidant, you know, like... <laughs> you're finding reasons and things to do to keep you busy so you don't have to focus on love in a way. Because of past experiences, uh, memories, whatever, you know, feels. Show me messages for Taurus, please. What do they need to prepare for for the new moon? And anyone that is going through a separation yet, yeah, it's going to be all right. You, you, it, is, it is. You are going to find new. Maybe relatively soon. Maybe some of you have met new already. Obstacles are detours into the right direction. Lovely. So whatever the fuck is going on right now for you, Taurus, it's supposed to be. Okay. Maybe a lot of you are just in a little bit of a, well, the reason for that is, or like there's a delay or there's been something. Maybe just tricker. There's been something tricker, but it's been necessary. Okay. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. So you're going somewhere, you're heading in the right direction, and there's been a lot of this way, that way, forwards and backwards, you know. One step forward, two steps back. Oh, we've just seen this. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I'm going to manifest. So you guys maybe are creating the obstacles, maybe for yourselves. Take that as it resonates. You create your own reality. So maybe as it stands, you know, like... You're very powerful, you're very connected to the divine and your manifestations all come into fruition and that's the negative and the positive, okay? So please be mindful of that. 
some of you could be a little bit in your own way right now. You know, your energy creates your reality. Anyone more? I've just heard positive affirmations. So maybe some of us need to start doing them. Oneness is my true nature. Yeah. We need to stay grounded, balanced, in a nice healing energy. Staying grounded, regardless of the obstacles, detours. Some of you are maybe realising that you are creating them for yourself. Or those, if you're not doing it yourself, obviously, um, you've got other people that are creating them obstacles and detours. You're realising that and you're acting accordingly. I love that. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. So it's essentially, you know, you don't ever finish ascending or transforming, you know. There's always something to further surrender. There's always a situation that will arise, an obstacle, a detour, that we will need to surrender. You know, we don't understand everything, nor do we want to necessarily. The hardest part is releasing things to the universe and to the divine. Because, especially for a Taurus as well, because you're a bit of a control freak, control freak, let's be honest. So for you to release something and just... You know, not give it any of your energy, whatever that may be. Even if it's excitement, it's like, but well, then it's still living in a bit of anxiety, in it? Like, but you just need to release something. What will be, will be, as above, so below. Oneness is my true nature. I'm at peace. I'm unbothered. Whatever's coming at you, don't be bothered by it. Someone may bring an obstacle or a detour to your energy. As far as something is concerned that you are working towards, stay grounded. Stay grounded. There's something here that you kind of anticipate the outcome and the result, and it's very positive. But maybe there's been a, just a little bit of an illusion in some kind of way. But there's a reason, regardless. So I hope that's making sense. Do you subscribe if you are new. Show me Taurus energy. What do my babies need to see? What do we need to see? What do they need to see for the new moon? What preparations? Oh, you need to acknowledge yourself. Mm -hmm. Focus on yourself. Okay, we've got belief. Oh. I believe in myself, the beauty of life and the goodness of God. Thus, I have the power to fulfil my dreams. The will, of, the will of the Almighty supports me. My life is showered in divine light and my heart opens to the power of the universe. Yay, that's cute. So regardless of the detours and the obstacles and the challenges that maybe, you know, yourself or other people are throwing in there, you need to keep the trust. The detours are for the reason. It's like, you know, if you... You know, if you're on your way out to work and you forget something, you've got to go back. You have been detoured there for a reason. You've been delayed for a particular reason and it's highly likely due to protection. Accept that. Don't then try and bring bring time back. Do you know what I mean? Don't try and catch up. Just let it, let that loss, let accept that little bit of a loss of time. Do you know what I mean? I trust life and my strengths. Each moment guides me to the light. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. Yeah. Courage. Yay. Powerful messages today, guys. So as difficult as it may be because of the obstacles and detours, whoever and whatever they may be, they may be, you need to keep the trust, keep the faith in the universe, keep your belief, you know, keep your courage. I am stronger than fear and bigger than doubt. I am light and I remain light. I trust in God and stand tall before the test of life. <clears throat> I grow and become wiser through every challenge. I am a being of new life. So some of you are going through a challenge right now. It's it's for a reason. It's for some form of growth. It's for some form of ascension for you. It's for you to get to a further, you know, a, further, a step further towards your higher self. So accept it positively. Positively, even if it's something a bit shit. Let's see. Yeah. Some of you, this is about your religion. But there's due to burden, big problem, grief, religious fate. So there's something... Just bothering you but you're being told to remain unbothered as much as it's bothering you don't be bothered don't you know believe trust the universe oh someone's being shader someone's being sneaker wow 
So this, this is what needs releasing. Drama, arguments, responding, being triggered, being bothered, fighting back. This needs releasing. It's like a little cesspit of shit that you need to get the fuck away from for some of you. Whatever that means. Crossroads, choice, multiple, hesitation, decision, tolerance, separation. Divine masculine. The majority of my divine masculines are most probably going through some form of separation. It's like, but well, maybe whoever you're separating yourself from doesn't actually believe your reasons. Some of it is new. Some of you, there's a masculine coming towards you and you're very hesitant of whether you can trust them. I mean, maybe, maybe some of my masculines are being very hesitant of whether you can trust the feminine as well. Take it as it resonates, but this is a new beginning coming up. If you're not already going through it right now and it's showing up as, yay, a clover. I feel like you need to keep your level of faith in the universe. It's about loyalty this, I think. Trust. Hmm. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Some of you Venus. What do you need to be prepared for for the new moon? Oh my good lord. Wow. Some of you don't trust anyone as far as you can throw them, especially when it comes to romance. <laughs> you know, someone as well, could, this is also desire and seduction. So maybe someone just wants you a lot. You know, very sexual there. Show me more. Oh. Some of you are going to get into a commitment and it needs to be some kind of secret, a mystery. There's some coming here. Are some of you already in a secret situation? I hope it's not sneaky linking. Some of you, there's been some kind of... Oh, there's going to be a sudden change as far as maybe a child's concerned or... A child's loyalty's changed. But luck is on your side from that, regarding that. This could be a rebirth. There's nothing to do with a child. Mm. Something maybe will come out of the blue or someone's travelled towards you maybe out of the blue. Show me messages for Taurus, please. You're going to hear from a lover. Yay. It's going to be different for all of you, you know. Some of you are, some of you are in a sneaky linking thing and some of you are just going to be quite paranoid that the person coming towards you is putting you in that position, I think. Show me messages for Taurus, please. But you need to trust the universe. So. Okay. You're heading in the right direction, wherever that may be. Maybe there's just someone trying to project onto you about distrust and so on and so forth about this relationship there's something coming in here some of you don't see it coming because it's still showing as a mystery unknown some of you this is a like a you know a, a situation that no one knows about maybe it's got to go forward in secret and that's what's making you not trust the situation hmm. oh someone you're looking very good right now or someone's very much Popular, doing well in front of a crowd, working with people, surrounded by good people. Someone could be watching you do that. Some of you could, this could be work. You could be getting like promoted or at, you know, some kind of recognition at work. Or like online, public recognition. Some of you, there's a very shady family member. You're attached to you. Or someone coming towards you. Someone very controlling. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Concern and high honour. Someone's don't want you winning in this relationship. What the fuck? Oh, it's someone don't want you finding out. Someone don't want something being found out. Or someone don't want you having it. It's going to be different for all of you. General, not personal. 
anyone wanting a personal reading, please email me. I have, of course, got this new reading, new, new spread on offer for £50. Um, there's not many of them slots available. Well, there's still a few, but not all of them anyway. And there's my general readings as well. So please email me if you wanted, wanted a personal reading. Show me more. Change adjudication. Someone's really trying to keep someone back, delay someone's potential, the obstacles, the detours. And this is about romance, relationships, moving forward. Some of you, someone's moving out, moving in together. Someone's trying to put you off that. Someone's looking at you like a little snack right now, Taurus. You stand out in a crowd, big time, right, in some kind of way. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Ascension. New phase, prepare for a union. Oh, your twin flame was showing up a lot in the pre-shuffle as well. Show me Taurus's messages. Some of you, there's a lot of travel movement, whether physical or energetic. Show me Taurus's energy. Whatever movements that you're making forward, you keep going, regardless of whatever detours and obstacles are there, the challenges that we always fucking see, you know, just carry on, keep going with your plans, with your movements, with whatever you're doing. Because something's about to pay off for you. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, hesitation from someone that pushed you away. Right, so for some of you, you know who this is and you're not going to trust them. That's what it is. Maybe there's a concern over who knows, which is going to cause drama because there's a lot of people in that energy. Mm, show me messages for Taurus. Yeah, look, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth, and then the golden mirror. Someone that's previously loved bomb just coming back around. Yes, they are. Or someone that you was in a one-sided relationship with. Either way, there's going to be people unhappy about it, and you're going to be a little bit untrusting. But you're being told, let's go back here. You're being told to believe, trust, and have courage. <laughs> show me more. I feel like people are going to be telling you that this person's a narcissist, this person's self-absorbed. You're entering into a one-sided relationship. You are being love-bombed. Um, show me messages for Taurus, please. That's only with some of you that have got people dead involved in your shit. That would be for everyone. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Healing heart, white to pop out then. Show me messages for Taurus. Look, love call. Someone's reaching out. Here they are. Love call. Ring, ring. Oh. Oh, I've just got that Cardi B song. You don't hit my line no more. I can't sing that soul pitched right now. It's this my... All right. <coughs> it's Cardi B, isn't it? You don't hit my line no more. Oh, oh. You don't make it ring, 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 ring. I can't keep this on the low. I want you to make it ring, ring, ring. Maybe this has got to be on the down low. Maybe that's why you're not so sure. Maybe it used to be on the down low. I don't know. Show me Taurus Energy. Someone's ringing you though. Someone's going to be reaching out. I do feel like it's more of a phone call for a lot of you. So talking, yes. You're absolutely going to be hearing from whoever this is. Give me one more. The mirror are mirroring each other. Our self-image relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. Hmm. This is someone maybe that you've been like, I'm not reaching out. They're not reaching out. So I'm not reaching out. So they're not reaching out. Da, 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 da. You know, a very mirroring kind of thing. You're not speaking. You want to speak, but you're not speaking unless they reach out to you. You're not reaching out to them. Um. Someone's also done some introspection as well. You know, better looking within. Hmm, someone's been wearing a mask. One minute.
So there is like Mieber. You know what? Because your challenges, your obstacles, your detours is um, gaslighting the truth. Someone's gaslighting the truth, trying to make you replay particular events in your head again the past like i said earlier about the past being needs left being left behind either you're doing this to yourself or someone is making you re replay past past events or situations which is putting you in a very distrusting energy that is a load of shit someone is trying to end someone's relationship by putting doubt in someone's mind mm. will be for everyone that but listen it's happening it's been quite it's it's shown up quite a bit in the personal readings today but somebody's trying to cause someone's going through an ending right it's well it'd be different for all of you in general readings right so there's been a break some of you someone's trying to cause a breakup some of you so you've got back together with someone and there's someone that does not like that and they're going to try and make you believe that the past is now the present do you know what i mean you're reliving the, the past with however this person dealt with you at the first time because i feel like it didn't go very well do you know what i mean some of you this is you getting out of your own relationship and going towards new and fucking hell you are the devil for that according to some people like or one person in particular others of you are this is someone getting out of their relationship and coming towards you and someone's going to convince you that you're a rebound or they're just not genuine it's going to be so different like ways and turns that this can go for all of you with it being general but the the overall message is you need to have tr trust and faith in the universe and have courage to trust yourself. Someone's going to be reaching out to you and I feel like you shouldn't necessarily accept anybody else's opinion on that right now. Yeah. Let's get tarot. Current energy, right? But with it being like a new moon preparation, it could be a future prediction. So, you know, take it as it resonates. The sun. Leo energy. This is the happiest card in tarot. Clarity. Joy. And seven ones. Oh, wow. Someone's a bit miserable. Someone's miserable. And I don't feel like it's you, no, the Emperor. Someone's trying to make you miserable. No. Someone wants you in a, a very defensive headspace. This is what I'm getting. The Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning, temperance, Sagittarius, energy of the Knight of Wands. Someone's coming in if they're not yet. And uh, they want the Ten of Cups. They want their Ten of Cups. Someone has done some serious, like, someone, someone's looked very closely. Someone's looked very closely. Oh, that's your advice. Someone's been waiting for you and you've not responded. Yeah, you know what I said about mirroring? Someone's been waiting for you to message and you haven't. So, like, someone's had their eye very close on to you. Like, why have you not? Why have you not messaged me or something? Why have you not reached out? Hmm. Show me Taurus's messages, please. Show me Rise and Venus. The High Priestess, trust yourself. Trust your intuition, always. Trust the Divine, always. Especially when, it's, you know, those of you that are dealing with a lot of people, you've got a lot of people around you and you've got fucking very strong opinions on your life in whatever way. Just trust yourself first, yeah? Before people manage to get in and manipulate you know trust yourself and your intuition always show me Taurus's energy the star it will pay off my babies i promise you that now coming on with a pisces or an aquarius trusting your intuition what you already know for a lot of you is going to pay off you're going to get what you want you're going to get what you want your wish come true the star the yay the healing from the tower nice oh my god what? The Seven of Swords and Justice? Someone does not want you having this. Is that karma for already lying to you? 
anyway wow the chariot and the ten of pentacles listen whenever you are going keep going keep moving forward physically energetically whatever it may be it's you're heading straight towards the ten of pentacles and you just got some sly little energy in the middle of it and i genuinely would not pay any attention whatsoever i just wouldn't for some of you it's more than one person but it's just very ugh, energy right and justice the chariot and the ten of pentacles look at all the major arcana and then you know the ten of pentacles and then that shit there someone don't want you having it you know the detours but fuck them don't pay don't don't rise stay balanced stay focused and you will have your ten of pentacles some of you some this person's still waiting for you to reach out and they're going to see that you're not and you're very focused elsewhere especially at your, on your work and working on yourself so they're going to reach out to you Yes, they are. There's a lot of sexual um, chemistry between you and this person. Could be a strong Sag, strong Leo and Scorpio energy. An Aries. Someone's a little bit unsure of whether you'll... Oh, oh um, you know what? For a lot of you, you know who this is and you used to be absolutely besotted with them. You're like... You know, like just stare at him like you'd just be completely like <laughs> you was you was like puppy love, yeah. They are kind of scared that you're not gonna be like that again. That's very cute, to be fair. They worried that you're not gonna because you're younger for a lot of you as well. And you know, you're just adorable to them. <laughs> and they're scared that you don't have them feelings for them anymore. It is a scare. And you are going to be hearing from this person about their sorrow and the regret and the moves that they made that got them stabbed up to fuck in some kind of way. I was just accepting shit after shit after shit after shit. Oh, I hope all that just made sense. So, let's clarify. Well, the divine is completely orchestrating all of this, which absolutely makes sense with all the major arcana. You know, major arcana and my versus minor, it's quite unavoidable. It's inevitable. It's out of your control. You know, energy shifts and chains, and yes, we do yes, we do have a slight element of control over it, but when it comes to major arcana, that's the divine. That's the divine doing this. Okay, it's there's no point in going against the grain, put it that way. And it's also destined for success, you know. Not the chariot, this is powerful. We're dealing with a Sagittarius, a, a Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, there's all sorts, Virgo. Some of you are not dealing with anybody right now. You're quite isolated, in hermit mode. Very focused. Very focused energy. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are just very focused at work and your money and your stability. Ooh, guys, this looks good. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right, some of you have got um, a friend or a family member that are going to tell you they're, seeing, they're speaking to someone else or they're still... Do you know what I mean? Someone's going to make you feel shit. You know, like um, some kind of... It's not even a... It's not going to be... A, maybe some of you, it is going to be a backhanded, backhanded compliment. It's like someone's just going to throw a little comment in there to make you, like... I don't know. feel like you're not the one important. You're not the one that they want. Or you just... I don't know. Like, this person's not the one that you want. They're going to make you question yourself. Some of you, this is a work thing and maybe there's a slight doubt or someone's trying to get someone else involved in your business and you're being told to kind of just don't get involved in that, just keep focused on yourself. So you know all the same cards here yeah, again. Oh my God, for some of you, is some of you, is there an ex? Wait, 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 wait. For some of you, there is a family member working together in a shit way. A family member working together with a shit way with someone that don't like you. Mm -hmm. Building a friendship over disliking you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That won't be for everyone, of course, but for some of you, that is absolutely happening. 
Oh, people be crazy. Show me this high priestess, please, for Taurus. Some of you as well, you know, this is a new moon preparation reading and it's like things that you should be released, ready for a new beginning, come the new moon. Some of you, it's work, it's family, you just give too much and it's not reciprocated. Wherever that light is, yeah, you're being told to release it. Take a little step back. Take a little bit of a step back. The Queen of Pentacles, that's you. You're very, very, very intuitive. Death, you know something's on its way. There's a rebirth on its way. Oh, there's an ending. Shit, the Seven of Swords. Trust your intuition. Someone's trying to cause an ending here for some of you. And you already know they're lying. You know intuitively that someone's just trying to lie to cause an ending. Trust your intuition. Show me the Seven of Swords. Someone don't want you being the one that someone wants to be with, I'm telling you now. They don't, they don't want it to be you, anyone but you. Mm. Someone's going to convince you that someone's a player. Someone's got more than one energy. Show me the Seven of Swords. Listen, maybe for some of you, you've, you have found this out about your person because there is a separation going on. So for some of you, this is... You found out someone is not to be trusted and you're separating yourself and there's going to be a new romantic cycle outside of that, right? Others of you, this is someone that's come to you quite new, maybe, um, and someone is trying to convince you that this person doesn't want you or you're not the only one. Anyway, some of you, you know who this person is. It's not been great first time round. They're coming back round for a second time and someone's still going to try and convince you if it's not you convincing yourself that you can't trust this person. Whew, did I get all that out? Show me the seven of swords. But for a lot of you, it's someone else trying to sabotage the Emperor and the Two of Wands. So, someone's been strategic, strategizing, planning. The Emperor, husband, father, boss. Honestly, some of you have got out of your own very, very, very fucking borderline abusive relationship. You have especially a mentally. You've got, you know, emotionally and mentally abusive. You've got out of that. And you're going to be fucking brilliant and fine. Others of you, this is someone trying to convince you that someone is not who they say they are. You're not the only person. Someone will never change. Or this is yourself convincing yourself in that, you know, keeping you in that eight of swords energy. Show me this star, please. A lot of you, it's not you, though. Show me this star. Oh, the six of pentacles. The chariot and the hermit. So... Stay focused. Someone's feeding you false information there with that Six of Pentacles. I'm telling you now, someone's trying to gaslight you into some kind of false reality. And it's about your forward movements, your, your wants, or the fact that someone has changed. Grew up with a hermit. Could be a cancer. Strong cancer and Virgo energy. Listen, there's all signs there. Don't focus on that solar, but it's insane. Someone is giving you false information. And it's just because you're getting what you want. It's like something's gone down maybe because the star comes from the tower. So for a lot of you, you know what this is and it didn't go right. It didn't go well first time round. It was a big tower moment. And now you're like getting what you want from that. And it's really not going to sit well with someone. So they're going to try and ruin it. Yeah, look, someone's going to try and cause confusion in a nice dynamic. You know, just put doubt in your mind, confusion. And stress you the fuck out. Show me the Seven of Swords. Right, a lot of you, this isn't yourself doing this. Well, the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, someone is going to be trying to ruin this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's very threatened by you and this individual being together, whoever this is. Some of you have not even met him yet. You will soon, maybe after the new moon. Um, but someone's going to try and ruin it, I'm telling you now. The Six of Swords, the Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Someone's very threatened by you. A lot of you, you're like younger. Maybe this is someone's ex and you're the younger manager and like they don't like that. Do you know what I mean? They feel very fucking... Yeah. Someone's going to be talking some shit, I'm telling you now. And it's about your movements. Some of you, this is about your travel plans. Someone's trying to make you feel fed up or question this new love that's being offered to you and a lot of you it's going to try and someone's going to try and convince you that there's some kind of 
Oh, well, there's a third party in the mix. I'm telling you now. Show me this Knight of Swords. Let's see. Look, someone doesn't want this relationship happening. Someone's trying to ruin a commitment. Yeah, they are. Someone's trying to make you walk away, specifically. Someone, So someone's going to come at you and talk shit to you about who you're with or who you want to be with. So you walk away. And it's lies. I'm telling you now, it's lies. Mm -hmm. I will just flip it again, though, and say some of you are getting out of your own relationship. And that's some of you that have been together for fucking years and years and years. And it's borderline abusive, if not actually abusive. Um, you know. Please do. Please don't force all these messages if they're not yours. I don't choose the cards and the energy that I'm reading. They don't always resonate with me. Hardly ever, to be fair, because I try and make it that way. But there's a toxic relationship ending, put it that way. And that's either via you or the person that's coming towards you. And there's new right outside of that separation. And it's either going to, and someone's going to try and sabotage it. And it's either your ex because you've got out of the toxicity, or it's the person's ex that's coming towards you because they've got out of the toxicity. Yeah. Yep. Show me this justice. Show me this justice, please. Not the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So for a lot of you, you've already dealt with this person before now, and that's why they're coming around to apologise. You know, they've accepted responsibility for a lot, all that they've done, which fucked you over. And now you want to accept said apology, but now you're confused as fuck. You don't know if someone is being genuine. You don't know if someone means it. And I feel like it's just based off the gossip. You know, someone could be convincing you that there's other people, there's other choices. For some of you, this has already happened and it's that person coming back around. And like I say, someone's going to try and convince you that they cannot change. But I feel like this is destined success and happiness for you and someone's trying to keep you in that kind of imprisonment. It's down to a, it's a jealousy kind of thing. Someone's eat. Mm. Show me this chariot. Oh, judgment. Whatever big decision that you want to make, yeah? Do it and stick to it. Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, whatever the fuck all these people have got to say. Overly entitled, opinionated fuckers. Whichever way it goes. Family, friends, yours, this person's, work colleagues even. This will work if you want it to. You need to be solid, to be honest. One of them situations, if it doesn't make a break you kind of thing. For some of you, this is someone that broke your heart maybe a long time ago, do you know what I mean? And you've grew since then. You've moved past you've moved past it. Um but what's maybe this is someone, you know, oh, I don't know. That's your ex-spouse, and they've had a karmic in between, yeah? And that karmic's going to tell you that this person is just... You can imagine, you know, don't listen. I know some of you are not going to anyway, but it's the, the point, I think, is the planting of the seeds, because things manifest, yeah? Don't let someone get in your head. Trust your own discernment, trust your own intuition, your own feelings, your own vibrations. Your body doesn't lie, your feelings don't lie, your intuition doesn't lie. So, energy doesn't lie. The majority of you can read energy when you walk into a room, so just stay confident in that. Show me this Ten of Pentacles, please. Two of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Lovers. So this can work, this can be built upon to the Ten of Pentacles, providing you used to just focus on one another. Genuinely, is that's what I'm getting. Someone's going to try and ruin something. It's like a fucking power couple because the potential there is a ten of pentacles. Do you know what I mean? Someone else doesn't get a look in and they don't like it. So it's either someone's ex or someone's codependent family member or summit. Could be a Gemini, but this is you and them working together nicely. Minding your own fucking business. 
you know, getting on great and it's going to work. It will build from the eight to the 10, providing you both put the efforts in, you make choices and decisions together. You know, communication is key. Um, and you do not let anyone else in. You keep a lot of your shits to, you to yourself, a lot of shit private. Maybe that's what you need to do because of whatever the fuck is attached to it. This will win. Wow, the divine's on your side. There's no doubt about that. Wow, that's beautiful energy. So you're destined to win. You're destined to be happy. You're destined to be successful. There's just someone very toxic or negative attached. And it's in a jealous way against you. But they're going to try and paint someone out to be that. Or they're going to try and paint you out to be of the player. Do you know what I mean? Take it as it resonates. Flip it all as you need to. But that's what I've got. So please do let me know if it's resonated with you. Someone's just going to try and be a twat, really, and sabotage something. Whether that's you getting out of your own toxic situation, because there is new outside of that. Your ex is going to try and sabotage it. You know, stay unbothered, stay untriggered, keep the faith, expect powerful change, the answers you need are coming. Some of you have not met this new yet, and you will. Soon, I find the climax approaches. Show me messages for my angels. Look, he's on your side. Yep. That was, again, very prominent in the personal readings today. I love how it all fits like that. Surrender to the divine. Mm. You've got nothing to worry about is what you're being told. So just other people's emotions are running high and you need to look at the bigger picture from that. Yeah. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, guys. So this could all have a kickstart from the new moon or it could be the, the run up to it, yeah? Because especially if you're going through a separation, that needs to be done before. Um, those of you that have gone through the separation, the new beginnings come in from the new moon, do you know what I mean? I love this energy. Expect powerful change. The end of a tough cycle approaches, what is to come out then. So something's not going to be as difficult as what you think. Um, providing you don't give anything the power. Anyone the power. One more. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. And don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So. I feel like this is. Don't just. Something could be easy to, easy to believe. Don't believe it. Like. At risk of standing out, or I don't know, or it's all going to come good anyway. Expect powerful change. Conclusions are, conclusions are within reach, and don't let pride get anyway. So emotions are running high. I feel like you're just being a little bit of a sponge for other people's emotions when it comes to you and this person being together. Um, unfortunately, but just don't absorb it. Don't tuck it in. Mm. Well, this is what we've got. I hope it's bloody made sense with you. Let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all tomorrow. Mwah.